I can't handle seeing my brother scared. I get scared when my brother gets scared because we are like so close, like we are the closest from the family. We heard lots of explosions, we heard lots of kids who are screaming for help, and we heard lots of mothers crying for their children. I feel scared and terrified, but I hide it from my little brother because I don't want him to feel like he's not secured in Gaza because it's his real home. I want him to feel like he's safe in his home. seeing the buildings fall down and seeing the water, seeing people like this is not safe. I get scared from dark. Uh, I don't like the darkness. So when the electric turns off, I don't like it. It scares me. My mom was scared for her kids. My dad was also scared for his kids. Me and my brothers are scared for each other. So we always try to be together because if we die together that will be the best thing because we can still see each other when we go to heaven. So this is the bomb shelter and when we hear uh, code red and then lots of sirens we run into here and we close the door and we lie down on the bed because they say we should lie down and we wait here 10 minutes. I always sleep in here since the fires because I'm scared and I don't want to wake up in the middle of the night. But you just hear a and when I hear the sirens, I run for my life. Like it's really scary. You just hear and you have to run. I try to not think about this because I try to do stuff that are more fun, like play with my car, with that thing, and to just be on my phone, and I just try to get take time, because the funner it is, the faster time goes, and the less you have to think about the bombs and how scary it is. lots of dreams and things that I want to do in the future and one of those things is to study really hard and become a doctor and the second thing of those is to make more messages to the to the people out there and tell them what's happening in Palestine and tell them what are we going through and again I want to help more children and I want to help children who get kicked out of their houses that's another dream of mine and I have millions of dreams but I just so have I, I'm just tired right now my friends they are also scared but they try not to show it because sometimes people like say you're a scaredy cat because you are scared of your bombs and stuff we don't go to school right now because if we go then there's a bomb we we are safe there because all of our classrooms are bomb shelters but still like uh, they don't want us to go because it's da still dangerous a normal day is like i play with my dogs a little bit and i go to friends all around not only in the mushav and uh, i also like to play upstairs but i don't really do that anymore because to get down those stairs is like a lot i take uh, my teddy bear sometimes i take my other teddy bears up there. Sometimes I take a, a Rubik's cube and I take that jumping machine. I'm not sure what it's called. There's just more bombs and it's scary because before I didn't used to even get ready to run to the bomb shelter. 